Good morning, it's Bruce. It's Sunday, November 2nd, 2008. Don't forget to vote on Tuesday. Uh, we've had a busy weekend. We're actually going out today. This is Sunday morning and we're going to Brooklyn for a brunch and to see Black Watch. So I'll report on that later. But uh, Friday night, Bill and I went to see uh, the revival of David Mammoth's Speed the Plow. Uh, Bill and I usually agree on uh, most everything. We've been together, it'll be 30 years next year, and uh, we had a disagreement about this one. I actually loved this production of Speed the Plow. Uh, Bill doesn't think it's uh, one of David Mamet's better plays, and he was sort of just never got out of that. But I, on the other hand, I, I agree, I don't think it's one of David Mamet's greatest plays, but uh, actually, I appreciate. Uh, we both saw the original with uh, Madonna and Ron Silver and Joe Mantegna, and um, this one really uh, superseded that. Uh, Neil Pepe directed. I think the play has more relevance today than it did 20 years ago, and I think Elizabeth Moss, in the role that Madonna uh, originated on Broadway, is head and shoulders above her. You could actually understand there was a character there. Uh, what I loved about Speed the Plow this time was its, uh, its brevity and brilliance in three short scenes. Each scene is uh, about maybe 25 minutes long. It's like three masterwork brushstrokes. Uh, you get so much character and uh, development, and I, I think it's so concise. You, it takes place in Hollywood. We have uh, Jeremy Piven and Raul Esparza and Elizabeth Moss, uh, the only three characters. And I was really excited by this production. Uh, the thing that really blew me away was in scene three, Raul Esparza just sort of does one of the best performances I've ever seen in a, in a short scene. He just takes command of that stage and uh, the audience just was so into this scene. I don't want to give too much away about the plot. I always think that people should discover these things. It is about Hollywood. It's about a uh, uh, Hollywood executive and a writer that comes to him with a deal to make. And Elizabeth Moss plays a temp secretary who... Uh, uh, the two men are uh, self-admitted Hollywood whores. And the woman comes in and you think she might be the bright light shining out of this Hollywood um, mud pile. And uh, by Act 3, you realize if she is a bright and shining light or if she's just a third whore. Uh, it's brisk, it's fast, it's funny. And as I said, this it was written 20 years ago, but uh, two things stand out. Uh, one thing just happens to be a coincidence that they... Uh, the word maverick comes up, and of course in this election the word maverick has become an iconic uh, word, and the audience reacts to this word unlike they did 20 years ago. And I think it shows a light on the word maverick, actually, and uh, I, I think that sort of resonates much deeper now. And also the book that uh, Elizabeth Moss's character, uh, The Temp, uh, reads and uh, is recommending to be filmed has so much more resonance now. Uh, there's a line in the play about uh, this book is so bleak, blah, 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 and the economy has collapsed. And, of course, like the audience just like went, wow! I highly recommend Speed the Plow. However, I can say that uh, not everyone is as uh, gung-ho about it as I am. Um, mainly my partner even. But he did like it. He did like it. Uh, Jeremy Piven, Raul Esparza, and Elizabeth Moss are wonderful. <clears throat> it's 90 minutes. It's directed brilliantly. And I think it has a gloss and a sheen on it. Maybe it's not the best, best David Mamet play ever, but I think it's a, a small gem in the David Mamet cam canon. It, it just shines so brightly. So, uh, I use my two thumbs for reviews. There's no two thumbs up for Speed the Plow for me. Okay, let's go on.
Yesterday at the matinee, uh, Bill and I went to see The Seagull, and we agreed that we both really, really enjoyed this production of The Seagull, which was uh, brought over from England, starring Kristen Scott Thomas in a lovely performance. Uh, also starring are Mackenzie Crook, who seemed vaguely familiar to me, so I, I looked up his credits when I got home because I hadn't really looked through the program. Uh, didn't have my reading glasses, which I need now. And uh, why his face looks so familiar is he's been in all three of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, you'd, if you watch the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, you'd know him. He's one of the sailors, a skinny little strangely faced uh, sailor. And uh, he was also in the British version of The Office, the television show. Uh, he was wonderful as Constantine. Uh, Kristen Scott Thomas was radiant. Uh, Zoe Kazan plays Masha, and uh, she's Elia Kazan's granddaughter. Uh, Peter Star uh, Sarsgaard uh, is Trigorin, and uh, I had never seen a seagull. Just one of those classics that I've uh, happened to uh, never have caught. So this was a wonderful way to be introduced to the seagull. <clears throat> it's uh, about three hours long. It's Russian. They drink vodka a lot, and uh, they're bored, and uh, they get a little depressed. It was very Russian. Um, all I can say is that we really enjoyed this revival, having never seen it. Bill actually saw it earlier this year, in a production with uh, Diane Weist and Alan Cumming, and I didn't go to that one, because he had said he had never seen The Seagull, so now he's seen it twice in one year. He said that he'd like to go back and see that one again, because this one seemed nothing like it. This one was very slow and lethargic, and they were not lethargic, uh, not in its direction, but in its tone, you know, the bored Russians in the country. And the one he saw, they were, in his words, bouncing off the walls and uh, constantly in, move and, in moving and running. So I actually, now I wish I would have seen that production. So I, we really enjoyed The Seagull, and if you haven't seen a production of The Seagull, this is a lovely, lovely production. Uh, now we're going to go off to Blackwatch, but I think I might not talk about that till tomorrow. Uh, next week, I mean. All right, have a good weekend.